What's up troopers, my name is Neon and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Zavar, one of the fan favourite weapons in the Assault Rifle class. So before we get into the video troopers, you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do. And of course leave a like, thank you very much. This weapon troopers absolutely does shred. It's really good at medium range and it's okay at long distance. Pretty awesome at close range though. This weapon actually has a 65 firepower, but it's a really high damage for Assault Rifle. The accuracy is also 53. The range is 55 with a handling of 24. The handling is honestly pretty low with this weapon, and that's just because it only has a nade launcher. You can't actually use any grips for it. Although, without any grips for it, just using the underbarrel launcher, it's still an extreme good weapon. The rate of fire for this weapon is 600. I have so many mastery stars for this weapon, almost 300. In today's setup for the Savar, there's two sites we're going to be talking about. My first one is actually the Thermal 1.25X. Thermals are an extremely good site to be using, especially for that visibility. It'd just be times where you know someone's attacking an objective, you can't figure out exactly where they are. If you just use the thermal sight in ADS, then you can see exactly where they are, and you have no problem. If you're really not a fan of the thermal sight, maybe it does bother you the way how it looks, then just go for the standard dot sight. This is actually the same zoom level of 1.25x. Out of all the muzzles I've been using, there's a couple of them I've been messing about with, and I really just couldn't figure out exactly what I wanted to go for. For me personally, I would always go for the tactical compensator, because that actually helps out with your weapon accuracy. The problem is with this weapon is, as I said before, it has no underbarrel. So you gotta figure out something to counter better accuracy and better recoil. And the conclusion I came with was the Champion Muzzle Brake. Champion Muzzle Brake is actually gonna help you out with your vertical recoil control, and it's gonna help you a little bit more consistency when it comes to your accuracy. There is times though, if I do want to be stealthy, I like to use the Wrap Suppressor. Maybe I'm lucky enough to get onto that flank, or I want to capture that objective without the enemy team knowing I'm coming to them. So if you want to be using something like the Wrap Suppressor that help you guys flanks or just move around the map a little bit more easier so they won't see you then that is the suppressor for you when it comes to the underbarrel i honestly would say it's your personal preference because there's a couple of varieties you really can go for for the underbarrel but for me i like to just use the high explosives as my first one, this is going to be really good and effective when it comes to vehicles. The second one is the incendiary one, so basically this is also going to be good against vehicles, especially if it's a transport vehicle. Pop that off, then if anyone tries to jump out, they're going to start cooking. And as myself, as a conquest guy, I always like to try to get them flags to get that win. So maybe if there's a chopper in the air and there's a struggle to try to capture that flag, then my next one is using the smoke. And here we are troopers for the magazine type. My first one is actually the high powered drum mag. I suggest to be only using the drum mag if you're going to be playing in the assault class the reason why you should play in the assault class only for a weapon like this for the drum mag is just for the fact that because in the assault class it actually offers you 100 rounds extra so it's so much more magazine if you didn't use any other class out there you would only have a roughly about three drum mags and that's it you're completely out of ammo and then when that happens you have to switch your magazine type although it probably doesn't bother everyone troopers but for myself it does and then I have to go and wait for someone to give me ammunition. Unless I am playing in support class and I do have ammo pouches and an ammo crate, that's problem solved. But getting so much more ammunition in assault class, I just can't say no. On my second magazine, it's actually the standard issue. The standard issue is actually a really good magazine to be using. Better recoil control, better reload speed, and good rate of fire. It increases it to 650. Anything sucks about this, you do lose a little bit of range. And then my last one is actually the high powered. And there we go, troopers. That is the Savar, a really good weapon. I know a lot of people love this gun. Troopers, what are you waiting for? Use this setup and see how good it turns out for you. The so Troopers, you guys got to let me know in the comment section below. What is your favorite assault rifle? Anyway, Troopers, thank you very much for listening to me talk. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, be a part of the Pink Bugami, and I'll see you on the battlefield.